I think we've got a janitor problem again. Happy anniversary, Natalie. Yeah, I thought so. I have 1,200 jobs available for the janitors, and I have 32 janitors. Kind of looks like I need to hire ramp agents as well. Applicants. Let's get a ramp agent going. You'll do. Janitor. Hire. 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 Wow, I've got 10 pages of staff on the books. That is crazy. Let's, let's get everybody up to a minimum level. Okay. There we go. Turn off the pro the what cleaning? The preventative clean. Wait, what? Oh, proactive cleaning, you mean? What, turn it off? Wait, what? What was that going to do exactly? Uh, Kieran, thank you for 11 months. I uh, haven't been able to watch you for over a year, but I'm back now, ready to watch the great entertainment. Thank you. Welcome back, sir. What? I, I kind of feel like turning that off is going to make things worse, surely. What if I turn it off and then back on again? What do you think that'll do? I've still got 1,200 jobs. Happy anniversary. Although 1,200 just went down to 900. That's interesting. <laughs> it will make it that you don't have short of cleaning stuff. Yeah, but... Look how disgusting it is. Wait, why are people walking down there? Happy anniversary. Wait a sec. Wait a second. Where's the... Where's the staff zoning thing there is? Let's make this a staff zone at the back. I'm not having people walking down the back of the boarding desk to get to the queue. That's that's ridiculous. They're basically walking down here and then cutting into the queue. <laughs> Which is not on. Mr. Rye, thank you for gifting five subs, sir. First sub bomb of the day. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. And as ever, if you got a sub, please remember to give him a thank you. Happy anniversary, Nata. You missed my Sunday night trucking song. It's on YouTube. Copper motor. Thanks for the uh, one year support. Welcome there you go. Back. It's finally. Oh, now they're doing. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Maybe if I make... Ah, what about this? What about if we get sneaky? What if we make... A staff zone? What if I make a staff zone like that? Like that? That kind of blocks them from... To the nut house. From cutting through there, so they have to go around the way they should be doing. As if we'd put a wall there. I mean, I could just put a wall there, I guess. But, yeah. Let's see how that works out. I kind of want the staff to have free run, you know? Welcome. If I put a wall there, nobody gets access. Mr. Zinam double top. Thank you. Yeah, exactly. We need the divider ropes. So the staff can kind of just move the rope out of the way and go through. I reckon that'll fix it. Welcome takes a little while for the um, the pathing to kick in. Uh, I don't know if you know how to word this, but what do you think about NVIDIA adding a new update so that you can play your truck on your phone if you're away from your rig? Welcome you just back. found this out on SES Software Instagram. Um, well, the thing is, Raze, is via Steam... What's it called? Steam... Steam Play or something? You can play Steam games on your mobile, Steam Link. You can kind of do it anyway via Steam. 
You just need to have your control input. It does work. How's Pippa's first walkout? I'll let you know in the morning. Tomorrow morning is Pippa's first ever venture. <laughs> first ever venture outside. All her injections are complete tomorrow. Interestingly enough, all the jobs seem to have gone. Like, everywhere seems clean again. That's interesting. We're down to 400. I still have a shortage of ramp agents, apparently. Eleven, seven, that'll do. Happy anniversary, Nata. Nice. Okay, we appear to be working. Uh, no, a copper motor. Um, I'm hoping to get my rig real soon. Mr. Raya just wanted to say hi to this community and to the very spectacular squirrel. <laughs> Dude, calm down. 1,500 bits, Mr. Raya. Thank you very much for your support. Happy That's greatly appreciated. Josh Milner, welcome back. Nobody puts very spectacular in my name in the same sentence, okay? I don't feel comfortable with this. Pug! 25 months. I feel like last week I celebrated my two-year sub-anniversary. Here's a bad joke for you. Uh, tw twin mid windmills are in a field, and the first one asks, what kind of music are you into? I'm not sure. I guess I'm a big metal fan. Yeah, okay. Thanks, Pug. I'm Moss Pittman. Welcome back. Josh Milner, thank you for four. Monroe, thank you for 38. Is Pippa like Doyle? Well, apart from the fact that she's female and about nine years younger, bang on. Happy anniversary, <laughs> Nata. Ainsley liked your joke, Pug. You've got a fan, mate. Connor J. Harper, thank you for 52 months. Uh, best jokes in town are here. What's the best shop to get chicken eggs? The coal. Oh, uh, can we not? It's not Christmas. We don't need cracker jokes. Right, we have 1.6 million in the bank. Um, it's really hard to see this white line. I kind of think when it snows, it should change these dash white lines to dash yellow or something. We own all sectors, though, don't we? Nice. So when you start thinking about a big runway at some point, which reminds me, actually, how's the um, baggage system working out? Okay, that looks pretty good. Baggage is working fine. Something's delaying things here. I think maybe it's a ramp agent problem again. I'm looking operations. Oh, yeah. yeah, there's outstanding rampage and jobs. It doesn't seem to matter how many rampages we get. There are more and more outstanding jobs. So I think maybe... Um, it's coming down now, gradually. Looks like we can't handle a rush. Like, if all the planes arrive together, we can't cope too well. NVIDIA GeForce now free will let you use DLSS and RTS cores to stream games you own in better quality to any device. Broadband speed. Wait. Duke, are you sure that's restricted to RTX stuff? Mind you, I don't know what DLSS is. Uh, Maniac Killer, thank you for three years. Happy anniversary. Mr. Raye, okay, nutty spitting roll. Is that better? Yes. Thank you, Raye. <laughs> uh, Spirit. Thank you very much for subbing, sir. Welcome to the net house. All right, dude. Donut see Lemma. Are there any quad engine planes in the game? Well, there's an A380, I think. It's 
calm it down now. Let's see, have we got any outstanding contracts? Let's get a franchise here. Subway was paying quite well. Okay, that's going to be Bell Beer, I think. Stand day one is occupied again. It was delayed coming in. I think this is a knock-on effect. They're quite expensive. Um, I was going to do something then. What was I going to do? Oh, that was it. I was going to check out the research side of things. Might as well start working on some of these things. You should get the larger trucks that carry more luggage in one go. It's possible that your small trucks have to make multiple trips. Well, people were saying use the smaller trucks, not the large ones, I seem to remember. It's not clear to me whether the... the um, do you mean the belt loader trucks? Or do you mean... I presume you mean the baggage trucks, right? <laughs> not had that for a while. D-Storm, good day, sir. Hope all is well. Thank you very much for the bits, D-Storm. I am well. Thank you. It's not clear to me whether these baggage trucks, um, if you get the bigger versions, will they take over the... Will they still do medium jobs? That's what I'm trying to say. Or will they only do large aircraft? Small trucks are only two carts and the large ones are five. Yes, but will they deal with any size of aircraft or will they only work on a larger aircraft? Bengal, Bengal Spice, thank you, 29. Mr. Roy, can you imagine playing this game in first person? No. That's like, that's like the difference between Factorio and Satisfactory. <laughs> yes, they will mind, says Mike, yeah. So, Pug, yeah, that's why. A 3D world. I don't, I, it'd be kind of nice to look at this in 3D, but I'm not too fussed that we can't. No. Like with a with a planning game like this, you kind of need to get an overview to plan things out. I mean, it'd be great if you could flick into a you know, like Google Maps. Google Maps has like a top down view, but you can kind of when you move around, it has that isometric three D look to it. So after a lot of testing, each plane stand needs its own star pushback truck, catering truck, belt truck, baggage truck. And when you get to the large stand, each stand needs its own fuel truck and belt. And baggage trucks will need to be upgraded. Gotcha. Yeah, I think, if I remember, didn't I assign a bunch of things? Operations. Vehicles, let's see. Yeah, so I assigned one baggage truck per stand. Um, I assigned one pushback truck per stand. I didn't assign the belt loaders. Maybe I should do that. Because I kind of think that if you do that, it stops them from 
wasting time moving around from stand to stand, which is it's kind of pointless. This game looks long-winded. Lol. Uh, terminal customization. Ye there is, but to be honest, I've not really explored it. Like, I'm coming at... I'm trying to understand the functional side of the game before I understand the aesthetic. Studio updates, uh, as in, um... Most of the stuff is still in the front room of my house. I will be moving things back next week, I think. I wanted to get the technical stuff sorted. I, I also need to do some rewiring now that I'm happy with the equipment. I need to sort of cable everything in properly. Aye, 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 aye. I've already got some bug down here, mate. Belt loader. Star trucks are assigned one to each stand. We don't do de um, catering yet. Aircraft cabin cleaning. They're not assigned. Yeah, whether the contracts run out or not. No, cost is still there. Uh, that franchise is still running. But I'll be honest, they don't get many sales. Like, this shop. These must be the mo bo most bored people in the world. Because one guy walks in and goes... Walks out and it's like nobody buys anything. Somehow they've sold 376, but it's not paying for the rent. This one doesn't do too bad. Cost is okay, but yeah, most of your shopping happens inside. Raw James, thank you for three years. Everest, thank you for the biddies. Niels, thanks for 21. You haven't tried to tackle the bag system yet in the game. It seems like uh, every time I start an airport, I think of something better and start over. Well, I kind of took the view that I'm going to play it through, learn, make a load of mistakes, learn learn some more, and then the next time I start again, I'll probably do a reasonable job. Like, there's a bunch of things that I've learned just playing through this. Like, the money's gone in the right direction. I think we should think about the large airport. Is that the um, little airside shuttle bus and make sure passengers can access it from the terminal? So the tutorial thing as such wants me to... Build an airside shuttle bus. Make sure passengers can access it from the terminal. Flights operated on a remote stand will get 45 minutes extra turnaround time to cope with added transfer process. I'm not really sure why it wants me to build that yet, to be honest. I don't have an off-site terminal. Can't get your shops to work. In what In what sense? Somebody can't find their way. Make sure the path is accessible through walls and zones. What, you can't find... Hmm. Happy I bet that's because there's no, there's no footpath. I think I only put this here for a test anyway, just to see what would happen. Happy anniversary, Nata. I can sign a contract, will never be opened. Okay, so are you meeting the requirements of the contract before you sign it, Benner? Like, there's, you need to make sure there's like three tick marks. The most disappointing thing for me is the lack of underground car park use. I kind of, I, I, I thought that was going to be so cool, seeing cars go to an underground car park and then walk in, and they're just not doing it. In fact, there's no cars coming, which is why I put that here, to see if I can get a car to turn up. Which they are doing now. But the only problem with this is that he's blocking the road. 
So that really sucks. So that's gonna go. <laughs> that's not staying though. Have you tried to get rid of the houses, uh, buses, and taxis? I did it on mine. The passenger flow was so much better with just uh, subway. That's interesting. When you say that the passenger flow was better, where were the passengers coming from when you got rid of buses and taxis? Because, like, it doesn't really... Logically doesn't make sense to get rid of buses and taxis. I mean, we could actually turn things off and find out. I, I, could, I could turn all of these off and see what happens. Passengers get up from the underground parking. Yeah. There's a staircase here that goes down a floor and then down a floor again. And then they basically walk out into the parking area. <gasps> Arrest this. What? Wait a minute. That feels like they. That feels like they turned up when I put the drop off point down. Hmm. Hmm. I also put this down thinking that people might use it. And that's interesting. Oh, there's a car there. Look, he just turned up. Like, just suddenly, the, the car park starts working. kind of built that thinking desperately thinking maybe that would kick it into life I wonder if that was the thing that helped it oh this is no good this is no good at all I'm just going to turn those two off I'm also going to turn a run of taxi bays off as well. I want to see what I want to see what the game does. Uh, see now, seeing what you did, I missed on last stream. I'm going to start over again. Lol. <laughs> uh, Jimmy Butler, welcome back. Yen Freak, thank you for 50 months. Uh, Canada Boot, thank you for half a year. Bill Jam with seven, thank you. I'm thinking maybe we can have car stops here. Just wait for that to disappear. You keep starting a new airport too. You should just keep going, you know? Keep going and make mistakes. Wow. Look at that profit. Whoa. It's not bad for just media Minecraft, you know. Three thousand three hundred conveyor belt bags handled. That's not bad going at all. All right, let's have a look. Um, public road. Public parking lots, car stop. Okay, let's see what that does. 568 bags incorrectly destroyed, Tom. Yeah, I know. There's going to be some insurance claims. <laughs> Mr. Libido, how you doing, sir? Yeah, we're obviously detonating the wrong bags. I don't know why. 
See, Victoria's Secret says it's open, but there's nobody buying underwear today. Oh, hang on. No, it's just passing through. It's amazing. You need a road in that red dot, do you not? Uh, a road in the red dot. I'm thinking about that. Oh, this thing. I see what you mean. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, you're right. Should be like that. I don't know if that's needed or not. Like, I don't want cars coming down here and then turning that way. But if I put that there, is that going to break the exit? I don't know. Does the car park work? It seems to be doing something. Now you see, look, it's emptied again. You see, something triggered that. I think it was car stops. I think when that car stop kicked in, people started parking here. It was either that or it was the parking lot I put there, but that doesn't make much sense. Hmm. So now it's dead again. Something odd going on here. I need to figure this out. It's thinking about where to put the large runway. It's gonna have to sit here. I think. So there's the large runway is gonna require its own de-icing and stuff. It's the car stops, yeah, I think it is. That's the one thing I've not... Yeah, look, that it is the car stops. You put those in, and then suddenly... Suddenly, inexplicably, they start parking. That's so weird. There aren't as many taxis either. current queues 5 15 so that one does get used i'm just going to check that works fine yeah that's fine hey marty i'm doing well thank you yeah look now my car park is full that's the weirdest thing why why is a car park tied to a car stop like that i don't get it Yeah, I've got free parking at the moment. Yeah. What well, Chase, my observations are that if I do not have any any um, car stops, if I don't have any car stops, my car parks do not get used. That is like proven so far to be the case. So, question. Large runway and stuff. How do we do this, I wonder? It's 
a million for that. So the problem is, is you can't I can't zoom out any more than this, so I can't actually see where that goes. But it seems to take most of the length of this thing. Most of the length of the map, I think. Yes, they did lead. Someone did say build a castle. So if we have a medium runway here, We'll need somewhere for the remote shuttle bus to go from. Probably here, I think. We've already got the... We've already got the um, space here. So I could kind of route that around there. Maybe. Then have people come out to a stop. Shuttle bus stop here. So when they come through security, they can go... We can use all these services or get the shuttle bus over to the terminal. I don't think changing orientation... I mean, in theory... In theory, we could build a runway like this. Oh, you mean the gotcha, right, right? You mean the camera? Right? You mean yeah? I see. What you mean you mean do that? Gotcha. Uh, Mr. Jabadon, thank you very much for subbing. Welcome to the Net House. You're the Chuck. Forty-four months. Thanks for the interesting, interesting streams through the forty-four months. Keep up the good work. Thank you, mate. Uh, Trotters, happy four-year anniversary, sir. This time next year, I will be. I will still be here. <laughs> thank you. Jimmy Butler, welcome back. Blazing puppies, welcome back. When you was a little weasel, you used to think that shuttle bus was a real type space shuttle. Would you battle a 54 knot crosswind? Uh, no. Mr. D-Storm. With a 10 sub bomb. Drops on the nurse house. War of Legend. Thank you very much, D-Storm. And if you got sub, please give him a thank you. That's very generous. I suppose if we did build a runway across this way, it would facilitate options, wouldn't it? It would facilitate some options. I don't know, I kind of like the idea now. I didn't like it at first, but I kind of like the idea of this. Gives all that space for either a second medium runway. Because I could put another medium runway here when we want to expand more mediums. And maybe leave that space for more med a medium terminal. And then have this up here. Um, so the only question then is where do we put the large... Where do we put the large gates... Large gate, we could decide that's the end of that and build up from here and put large gates here. A couple of large gates there instead. Welcome back. For now. Uh, you need to build a new of anything. I don't understand what you mean, Bella. Right now the tutorial just wants us to build an outside shuttle bus stop. I might just build that first. Try it the other way around, that way you can use remote terminals on the east of the medium runway.
Okay, what do you mean by the other way around? I, I did mention this. I said if we put another medium runway here, we can have remote terminals for the mediums. So when you say the other way around, what do you mean? Welcome back, Nata. Large taxiway and new ramps, runway DIs. New DIs. Yes, I realize we're going to need a new DI, sir. Um, new large gates, seven square wide taxiways, I think. I don't feel like the map is big enough. I don't know why they're limited. Wow. That's crazy. Look at that. Oh, that car park's getting used now. That's awesome. You believe there's an option in the debug menu to make the map bigger? I don't see one. Blue Army, uh, Bad Habit McGee, welcome back. You wish there was some variation in the path in Guernsey? Yeah, I, I think they'll probably do that. Um, it is early access. I'm sure at some point they'll kind of randomize this path that you take. It does look a bit linear. When you see there's like bolt straight lines of pedestrians walking by. But that's more of a cherry on your cake scenario, isn't it? Not yet, but let me know. Oh, what? The DC eighty eight that just kept going. My my event just went, and it just kept going like fifty subs. Holy. Guys, can we get some GGs in chat for the DC88 who dropped 50 subs on the stream? What a legend. Wow. <laughs> Thank you very, very much, DC. That is extremely kind of you. Well, Everest, that's 50 people who weren't subbed are now in the nuthouse, so maybe there were people who couldn't afford it either. And DC's been generous enough to give them that opportunity, so that's a nice thing. No matter which way you look at that, it's still a generous gift. And fantastic support. Thank you, DC. Yeah, that sub notifier is going to be going for like another year now. <laughs> Crikey. You've got a three month knot now. Nice. We'll find out, Niels. We'll find out. It's a nice problem to have if it breaks. Lots of resubs, lots of new subs. Yeah, if you're new and you just got gifted a sub, um, if you don't know how to join the Discord server or anything like that, just chat, just ask a mod, they'll tell you. No, that's amazing, DC. Thank you, sir. That is really generous. Okay. So, I think... That is a second runway, and we can have like an, an extra terminal here for taking on the medium gates. I think they'll just about fit. Effectively have something like that over here. I think it'll uh, it'll work. Welcome back, Nata. So we leave this for the mediums, right? Which means the heavy stuff is going to go up here. 
That's what it means. Welcome back, Nata. So that's a question of taxiways. We know that taxiways can go through the lights, so that's not a major problem. I don't know why they've got lights that way as well. On one eight. I don't think they ever land on one eight. How big are the, um, the large stands? But they're huge, aren't they? Yeah, they're pretty big. Welcome back, Nata. Also, this was never really built to. Um, I mean, a heavy plane is going to bring a lot of passengers. That would get flooded through, though. But the advantage of using this terminal is that we do have a free baggage system available. This one. Although it would kind of make more sense to use that one for the heavy. That would require some reworking. Um, well, we already have a tower, Ben. Is that not a big tower? Apparently that's the big tower. Might have to tuck this away some more. Probably chuck it in here, to be honest. Actually, we can put it in here because I'm not ever going to build. I'm not going to build here, am I? So why not put it here? Welcome back, Nata. If I have, once the big tower's built, I can demolish this, can't I? I don't need the medium anymore. Uh, how do you access the debug menu? F10. I don't really use it, to be honest. But it's enabled by default. Uh, why not into the bend of the taxiway, Everest? Why not into the bend of the taxiway? I don't want to build it... Do you mean round here? Or around here? I don't want to put it anywhere where I might build. It's extremely unlikely I'm going to build here. I think. Scary place for a tower operator. Well, you get a good view. <laughs> I mean, it's no different to Heathrow. If that was a runway, you would have a runway over here and then the tower would be here somewhere. It's a bit close to the runway, but who cares? Uh, would you not think they would make a bigger map, Simon? Yeah, there must be a reason for its size, though, at the moment. I don't know what that reason is. Well, I can't go south of the runway because the invisible lines here, you see. This is the map boundary. It's, it's very hard to see when it's winter. Toby Thompson, 27 months. Nice to see you back again. Looking forward to all the upcoming streams in your new studio. Thank you, Toby. Yeah, I'm, uh, I emailed, I don't know if, I think I told you guys. No, hang on. I emailed Simlabs on Monday and I said, you know, I know you're busy, but is there any update on when the rig might be ready? And uh, he replied back and said, we're really busy, but, you know, I think it's something like, we're really, re we're really super busy here. It's going to be a few more days. And I was like, a few more days? That's awesome. So I'm I'm kind of taking it to mean that maybe the rig will be built by the end of this week. Maybe it will ship out and maybe I'll get it next week. I have no 
uh, proof that that might happen. But I kind of hope that it'll come next week. So yeah, that'll be good. D22, thank you for almost four years, sir. So I'm very much looking forward to the rig here. Sango, if we go F for flights now, we've got a capacity of 200. So I'll get rid of this. It should be good. Because I'm going to build a runway here. If we assume we're not going to put a taxi on that side, if we taxi down the inside, it means that we can put the runway more or less up to the edge of that map and get all the available space on this side. But the rig would be super cool. Well... Quirk said I shouldn't stream it because it'll take five times longer and I'll have a whole load of backseat driving experts in chat. What do you think? Should I stream it or not? Harpoon, welcome back. I'd also have to think about the technical aspects of that, about where I'd put a camera and stuff. Welcome back. Disable chat? Jones, this is, this is Twitch, mate. You don't disable chat. That's the whole point of it. I need to reconnect this thing. Welcome back. I wouldn't just build it off stream, shoe bandits. Lol, Dave. Dave, you need to think about... You've got other problems right now. Like picking a case. Welcome Make two runways and a plus sound and let the fun begin. Lol. Uh, a racing rig. MBE. I need to get rid of all of this and then just have this one route into here, don't I? And connect into here. That's what I need to do. Oh, this is going to be a pain. Changing this on a live system is a pain. You wouldn't be able to reach out if you're busy building. No, I wouldn't be able to reach out, Zinam. That's very true. I mean, I can kind of come and check it now and again, but absolutely the focus would not be on chatting. It would be on just watching me build, I guess. Harpoon, welcome back. You narrowing it down, I've never picked a case that is quiet before. No, Dave, because you're used to picking cases for people who want it to be RGB. <laughs> quiet is important for somebody like me, Dave. Welcome back. You're going to have a green screen behind your driving rig. No. It's just not practical. Because I have to have a, a green screen on a 90 degree bend. Because <laughs> it's going to be in a corner. And besides, I want to have multiple cameras, and you just, there's just no way you can green screen all of that. I'd have to sit in a bright green room. I, that's the point, Luke. I haven't gone for a case yet. Once Dave stops being lazy and finds a case for me, welcome back. I'm like, oi, oi. We need a case. Well, you build a PC, it's kind of useful. Uh, no, the 49 inch, I bought a 49 inch monitor and that'll go on the racing rig.
Oh, this is going to be so painful. Like the way you have to turn everything off. Actually, mm, no. I was going to. I was going to be really clever then, but. Oh, this is so bad. Honestly, shoot bandits. I. I care less about what it looks like. Th this is the thing. Is like. My my. If I had a if I had a list of priorities for picking a PC case, the look of it is not as important to me. Like the size needs to be right. I don't want it to be too heavy. Um, so I don't want a big bulky thing, right? I want it to be quiet. Like I want it to absorb as much sound as it can, so it doesn't get picked up by the microphone. That's what I aim for. I'm gonna put it under my desk, so I don't really care if it's like RGB glow. Um. Other people have different priorities. Some people go for like really RGB lit stuff. They want it to look super cool. And then it needs to accommodate water cooling, which is a, you know, which is where Dave comes in. Like it needs to be modular. I like it when it's modular. Like I like Fantech cases because they're pretty modular. They're well documented and they're well built. Um, but we'll see what Dave comes up with. Crossfits, uh, thanks again for your timing, your stream, your streaming return. So a week after my jaw surgery, very much appreciated. Mostly feeling like a human being again, by the way. Happy streaming. Get well soon, Crossfits. Thank you, mate. Harpoon, welcome back. So in order to switch this in, in place of, well, switch this in in place of this one, I have to remap a bunch of things on a live system. Which means turning stuff off. Sounds good, Dave. Keeps it cheap, at least. Welcome back. Well, even using the tilt tray, even then, I have to destroy a section to add one, you know? Even then, it's not as simple. I'm going to do that and then that I'm just hoping this one Don't do it during the morning rush hour. Honestly, this is really painful. You have to cancel a bunch of flights to make it happen. Uh, why don't I go for a case that you can have two systems as one? That way you can have the main system do the gaming and then the smaller doing the streaming. It's an option, Pug. But frankly, I'm coping okay with one machine right now. So I think the system that I'm going to build will be more, more than capable of doing it all. Wow, Jack. Five years, mate. 60 months. Aeroplanes. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Happy anniversary. So if that's built now, in theory, if I come along and say, demolish this, and then click on that and say, forward and left. In theory, once that goes, this will become straight and it'll go left. But oh. hang on, it said forward and straight, didn't it? What I should have done. Yeah, what I should have done. Was that? Rip! <laughs> Hurry up, builders! Somebody come and fix the belt! Oh my god. How long does it take to turn up with a piece of baggage? Oh my god. Surprised you didn't install the UPS when you redid the studio. It's pointless, isn't it? It's absolutely pointless. Like, if you're going to put in a UPS, pretty much the only thing that's worth putting it on is the PC. 
just so that you can shut it down. But then you need to put the monitors in it so that you can see what you're doing when you shut it down. And then if you're going to be on a rig or potentially over here, you need to put it on these monitors and those monitors and your rig so that you can shut it down. All the lights are going to go off, the switches are going to go off, the routers are going to go off. So you're going to go off the internet anyway. Literally the only reason to do it is so that you can shut down. In which case, you might as well buy a small, cheap UPS, link it to your machine, and tell it to shut down if the power goes. And be done with it. There we go. Yeah, I've got like 50 builders in the mix. Now this one is going to link to this one. This one's going to link to this one. Actually, yeah, that's right. Put everything on the UPS. Okay, so let's see. <laughs> let's think about this. So my router is in the main house under the stairs, and there's a switch there. So I'd need a UPS in the house to power that to keep me on the internet. Then I'd need a UPS in here to power my computer, my monitors, my lights, um, the switch in here, pretty much everything in here. I'd need powered on a UPS. So then what size UPS do I go for? Let's say I've got a, let's say what I've got in here at the moment, probably got at least a kilowatt draw, probably. So how many minutes can I run on a UPS? I'd need a fairly big one. It really is, it really is a pointless exercise if the power goes the power goes the only thing i'm concerned about is data corruption i don't care about staying live for like 10 minutes more <laughs> if the power goes so be it get a generator oh yeah they're always popular with neighbors you can't beat the sound of a diesel generator firing up in the back garden <laughs> yeah solar power I'll probably go for 32 gig of RAM. Yeah, ultimately, if I, you know, if I could afford it, I'd have solar panels and a Tesla power battery. Power wall thing, yeah? And then it would run the house for like an hour or two. Right, let's see. So I think the way to do this is to turn off baggage handling. So that we don't lose things. So let's start by turning off baggage handling. I think this is the best way. Baggage handling service off. But then we have to wait because the last time I did that, yeah, baggage keeps going for a while. So all the flights that are currently in will be will be using my baggage system next gen of flights next wave should be not using the baggage system that makes life a little bit easier yeah but jack i can always download more ram if i need it how do you protect from data corruption uh, the way you the way you protect from data corruption in a power sense is you have a ups and then there'll be a bit of software that runs in Windows that talks to the UPS. And if it detects the power goes, you can say, if the power goes, right, run on battery, and then after so much time, shut down. So that's the way you handle it. Then the machine shuts down properly, and you don't get data corruption. I mean, I get, on average around here, I get... One power failure every two years. So I'm really not massively concerned. If I get data corruption, I've got nightly backups. The worst that can happen is like, you know, the, the, the file allocation tables on the drive get corrupt. And then the whole drive's corrupt. I have to reformat it and restore it from overnight backups. That's the worst. Like, I'm surge protected, that's the main thing. <clears throat> you 
get one every two months. Wow. Where do you live, Custard? That's crazy, man. Still baggage going. If I was getting a power failure every two months, I'd do my head in. Yeah, village. That's the thing is, I don't live in a village. I live in Chelmsford. Which is a city. You lose power every winter. Rip. Uh, you've been asked this already today, but has your racing rig arrived? No, I'm, I'm hoping it will come next week. I'm hoping. A fire is your worst case scenario unless you have off-site backups. Well, if you've got a fire, you've got a you've got big problems, but yeah. I mean fire is the most destructive. I have cloud backups, so but even then it would be very painful. I think you should add queue lines all over the airport from the front door to the bathroom. Why? Like I have a I have a NAS drive which is like a network drive that has a that's on a raid so it can tolerate one disk failing I also have um, a spare drive so if one fails I can swap one in and quickly get it back up um, on on the NAS drive a good chunk of it goes to the cloud as well so if the drive fails like if all the drives fail all my important stuff will be in the cloud yeah, I can't straight up. I don't know. Somebody said I should get a UPS and that, and then it all kicked off. <laughs> I don't even know why we're talking about it. Right. Um, it kind of looks like the baggage has stopped now, which is good. Soldier boxes have a nice feature where you can share data between remote NAS boxes. Yeah, so I actually have two NAS boxes and <clears throat> it does actually share the essential cla the essential data is shared from one NAS box to another. So my really important stuff is on two NAS drives. And in the cloud. <laughs> so I have backups of backups. But like I say, it would still be painful. Are you going to use a HD drive? No. I'm going to use NVMe drives and I'm going to use an SSD for backup. I don't want any any moving part drives anymore. Now UPS has an un uninterruptible power supply, not UPS as in a courier. Well, Okay, um, how do we do this again? So I need to, I need to route this to here. So I need to turn that, I'll leave it off. I need to set the, each stand. I need to say reconnect to baggage bay. So at the moment that one's going there. Okay. So reconnect baggage bay. Okay, this is where it gets tricky because you can't do it while there's a flight in there. So I need to do stands A1 to A4, and they've all got flights in them. Let's see if we can find a window where they get pushed back. Maybe we can change it then. The worst case is I'll have to cancel a bunch of flights on stands 1 to 4 to make this work. Speaking of NVMe, I had a parcel turn up 5 terabytes of NVMe drives. Wait, what, Dave? Are they for me? They better be for me. I want more than five, Dave. <laughs> what do you mean they're for you? Here we go. He's pushing back. Can we change it now? Yes, we can. Okay, that's one done. Uh, 
I also need to change the check-in desk, don't I? Thinking about this. I wish there was a quick way of doing this. Four. I think it sees as one, isn't it? Five. I think it was just the mate. I think these. Yeah, these are using that one. So if I click that now, there we go. And if I click that one. The other thing that's not linked is this thing. So that one's got the extra line to this. stand one and two need to get these two now how many expansion cards can you fit on a motherboard well a, a lot of motherboards are you talking about pci slots or mvme slot it's not even a matter of fitting it's a matter of having enough pci lanes well that's why i've gone for um the amd and also the motherboard we're looking at as 84 PCI lanes, I think. Which is plenty. Um, oh, come on, move out the way, you scumbag game. One, two, three, four. So all the stands are connected. The only thing that's not connected is this thing. Now that's connected. Then we turn that back on. Now we want these to use this one now, which means the same problem all over again. So I need to root Wait a minute, I've just set that wrong. That's better. That goes to the... Okay, yeah. So these need to go to here now. Cost is fiddly. Okay, that's them going to the bar. Eight desks. Um, exit bar. So I need to change the routing on this now. The exit's right, but the input's wrong. So this thing has to go to the right. No, I'm just going to get rid of that, fix it properly.
actually thinking about this. Just leave that for now. Uh, I think altogether I have only about eight NVMe drives. I think it's about like how do I how do I cross over one of these? Does anybody know? Like, because if I want the baggage input to come in from there, and because it has to go in on this one, I have to go around this one somehow. How do you do it? I kind of want the in and, in and outs to be reversed here. Otherwise, I'm going to have to go all the way around like that. It's really annoying. You can go underneath it. I guess that requires dropping into the next layer down, doesn't it? It's a bit of a pain. I think you need to build a foundation. To build to build a conveyor that drops down, you need to build foundation, I think. A bit like what we did on the um like where this drops down a level, you have to have foundation underneath. So to drop down from this level, you need to go down again and put foundation. Can you go through it after destination thing running? Hmm? What about the line switcher? I don't know. What you mean the um what's it called? This. The tilt tray. Used to direct car go to different destinations and directions. We'd have to test it and see if it works. Anyway. Let's get this going first. They're not built. Right, baggage. Let's get rid of that while we're on it. Will there be a video or live stream of the rig build? Um thinking about streaming it, I'm not sure yet. Get some foundation built on both of these. Although we don't want a wall though. Hospital Kelly. I'm glad you're okay. Come on, what's going on?
Right, so once that's done, that's all linked in. That's all linked in. So now I've got to get stands eight, seven. Gotta get these re established and then we're good to go. Yeah, I played Stormworks. I'm going to go back to it once the new MP update drops, I think. Take a look at it. It's been a while. I think they've added quite a few things to Stormworks, like uh, new missions. Like they changed the map. More stuff. Like, Yeah, it's going to be a bit of a learning curve again. I think there's a lot more to do and a lot more ways to do it now. Okay, so if we click on that, one, two, three, four. Click on that, four. I think we're good. Just double check that belt's in. 